a, a funny experience. All right, so that was my encounter with a festival. And then Sunday, there was like this performance by this famous uh, uh, singer because we, we got there on, on Saturday night. And they had like this dress code, red and black, and I was like, and everybody was looking so good and so cool. I was just mind blown. And I didn't have any red and black outfit, but red is my favorite color, so I always have something red. So I just, I don't know, I took something red out of my, 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 my luggage. And um, that was just, I was like, oh wow, this is super cool. And Sunday there was like the workshops, I went to check all the workshops. But back then we didn't have socials. It was just workshop, 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 workshop. We didn't have any kind of socials or whatsoever. Social didn't exist back then. Now it's hard to imagine a festival without a social, but back then it was just workshop throughout, and then after that you go hang out with your friends, you go eat something, and then maybe mm, we didn't, we didn't, you didn't really have free parties back then. Also, that was just you, you hang out with your friends, and then later on you go to the party. And when you go to the party, first you go to check out the shows, and, or there is, or if there is like a uh, performance by any famous uh, singer. That was basically it. And I just remember like going back home, like, wow, that was really amazing. I was like, that was cool. That was, to me, that was my first real experience with a, with a festival, right? And after that, uh, uh, my, first, um, my first booking on a festival was basically uh, Istanbul Salsa uh, Festival, like the one in April. That was that, and, and that was the first time that I saw like all these salsa bachata dances that I used to watch on on YouTube, and, and I was amazed. And, and because that was the first time we were teaching at a festival, and that's basically that was basically my eye open. I felt like an artist. I felt like part of it because we were booked there, we were teaching there, we were doing animations, we were doing so many things. And, 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 and it was like a small group of teachers, Kizomba teachers and DJs, so we became like a kind of friends, family, things like that. And um, so the, 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 the overall experience was like, okay, so this is what, what, what a festival looks like. So many international people, right? And you have shows, you have those shoes, uh, clothing stands everywhere. You have chaos, people coming in, going out. You have like this big desk, different kind of passes. You have uh, television. You have this big uh, stage of uh, 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 um, for the people to perform in. You know, you have tons of shows. You have so much entertainment, different rooms, people smiling, people following the dress codes. People. That was for me back then uh, 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 the, the the idea of what a festival looks like. Right? All right. So coming back to, to my first edition of I Love Kizumba Senso Festival in 2014, um, we were inviting different teachers and we said, hey, I, okay, so, so in our, our mind was like, do you, as, a, as an artist, do you have, we were like, okay, we need one, entertainment, two, we need some kind of mode show, uh, three, we need some kind of competition. We need sh we need shows. We need we need different things. So to 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 the way we saw it, all right, people are coming from everywhere. We have to entertain these people, right? We have to entertain these people because our, my idea was I want people to come here and experience something different, right? I want people to come and experience something different. So, but to me was, every day has to be a different day. Every day has to be a different experience. Every day has to be something, uh, uh, every day has to be something different. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> my, my, my lips are getting dry. <laughs> every day, every day has to be something different. That was like... The, the idea that we have, all right? So that was for me the, the, the definition. We had on Sunday, we had like this um, combination with this, this outdoor event because we wanted to give something different to the people. We had different locations. We, wasn't, we were in the middle of the city. People could, could, could go everywhere. They could 
you know, uh, 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 we didn't want to close people in one location. Only we wanted people to go out to experience the city because the city, is, the city was so attractive. That was the idea behind it, right? Now, fast forward. I think from I think it started back into that because in the beginning the festivals were more only one. The festivals that I went to, like in the beginning, 2013, 14, 15, they were more like only one. And then what happened was festivals like Luxembourg and I Love Kizomba Sensua were actually the festivals that kind of changed the per perception because the marketing was so strong and um, the organization was different. I think I Love Kizomba Sensua Festival and Luxembourg were the festivals with super high uh, organizational skills. Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm not... I'm not... Um, it's not to talk about, not to uh, diminish anyone, but I think from that time, those were two high, high uh, skilled and organized, uh, organizational wise. And we kind of changed the per percep uh, per perception of uh, how a festival should be organized, right? Of course, we all had shows, but I think, and this is what happened. My first, when, the first time I went to Luxembourg, uh, like on Sunday, because I went there on Saturday, on Sunday there was like um, a small room, some people brought like music there, socials didn't exist, keep it in mind, socials didn't exist back then. Um, some guy, we were just hanging out, and then some, some guys in this room, some guys brought like music there, and all of a sudden we started kind of like dancing, that's, that's, that's for me the beginning of the social, but the social didn't really stop there, it started like, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it was the, the name of the festival. I think was Emosal in, in in Paris. That's where basically the idea of the social started. So Luxembourg kind of was the it was developed by by the the, the the dancers there, and I saw that idea and I brought it to Holland and I said, you know what, we're gonna take the social room. We're gonna I put it like with the DJ stamp timetable and those those kind of things. For a lot of people, it was the first time they even experienced a social room back then. For many people in Holland, they are still dancing. That was, the, that was the, their first time they experienced what a social room looks like, right? And you know, the, the, the funny thing was, like, all these Dutch dances back then we used to think that they were, like, super, super good. And I remember, like, inviting a lot of... I invited a lot of French guys. That was, like, one of the first times a lot of the French guys came to Holland, the taxi dancers came for the first time, the, 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 the urban kiss touch, we used to call it the Kizomba 2.0, 2.0, uh, 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 back then, that was the first time a lot of the, the, the Dutch people like saw what urban kiss kind of like looked like, right, that was the first edition. So fast forward, right, so the reason why I'm saying, uh, I'm, I'm talking about this because I want to bring you, I want to take you back to how I started seeing, how I saw festivals, how it developed from that point to where we are right now. What is a Kizomba festival? To me, a Kizomba, a, a festival is, 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 is uh, a festival comes from the word fest, right? A festival, fest, fest, uh, 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 comes from the word feast, feast means party, right? Uh, and, and festival is actually uh, 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 an event with different kinds of activities, right? Uh, uh, different kinds of, of, of things to do, right? That's a festival. And it's an event which attracts a lot of people. That's a festival, right? So now, what is a Kizomba festival? Whenever you call a Kizomba festival, what is the definition of a Kizomba nowadays? Nowadays, people, this is what people say, right? Kizomba festival. One, only one, everything has to be in a hotel. Two, uh, good dancers. Three, yeah, decent DJs. That's it. That's it. And 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 you know, have you ever wondered why the events are not really growing? Why are they not really growing? Why are they not really going to the next level? We've been doing this for many years. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. Why we are like, we are reaching this certain uh, 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 limit, 
right? Because the activities that we're doing, we, no, no, no. We are reaching a certain limit because we are limiting ourselves. We are limiting ourselves. Because, I, I, you know, every time I, I speak to somebody that's been to a festival and they tell me, oh, I had an amazing time. The festival was uh, is the best so far. The first thing that I ask, even at I love Christmas and so festival, don't get, the, don't get it twisted. I, I ask this to everybody. When people come to me and say, oh, I did this and I had an amazing time at I love Christmas and so festival. The first thing that I always ask, I ask them, what was so amazing? I ask the people always, what was so amazing? Can you describe what was so amazing? And, and I was talking to a few friends, like, and they said to me, you know, the organization was shit, the floor was shit, uh, 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 yeah, the music was okay, and the hotel, the location was... And I was, and I was like, so what was so amazing? They said, oh, we, I had the best dances. <laughs> you know why I'm, I, I'm laughing? Because... Um, that's the definition of a great festival nowadays. Amazing dances. Right? I was reading this post. I was reading this post from a girl uh, from Holland. She's a friend. And she went to this festival in Malaga just recently. Shout out to Bobby. I mean, Bobby. 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 <laughs> Gizomba Queen's Festival. And I was reading the post, not just from, from her, I think from different people. And they said, oh, this festival was so amazing. Thank you so much, this and this and this. And then she put it, uh, you just have to change a little bit of the organization. The organization has to be better. This has to be better. This has to be better. If you, did, if you do that, you will be the best festival. So, you know, 70, 80% to her, it's already like the best festival because she had amazing dances. And that, and that she's not the only one. I mean, like... Every, even the guys. If I ask the guys, you did you have a good time? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you straight up. This is my podcast. I don't care. The guys that, um, uh, those that hooked up, <laughs> those they're always gonna say that they had an amazing time. <laughs> if they hooked up with a girl, they like, they will say it was it was great. It was amazing. I never spoke to a guy that told me, oh, the organization was good. I had great dances. I had no, I don't. I don't recall that I spoke to, and that somebody didn't mention like a girl. <laughs> they always say, "Oh yeah, oh the girls. <laughs> These are the guys' part." And the girls be like, "Oh, I had amazing dancing. The guys there were really great." This is the definition nowadays of a festival. Do you agree with me? Uh, you know, and, um, and, 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 and the funny thing is, the funny thing is, whenever I ask, whenever I ask, okay, but aside to all of that, or to all the great dance, what about the rest? Some of them don't even remember. Like, oh, yeah, it was okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't so good. I'm like, I don't care. I came to dance. I came to dance, I had the best dances, so the festival was amazing. So it really doesn't even depend on the, on the, on the organization itself. So this means the organization doesn't have to do anything else. The organization just has to put music, mm -hmm. uh, decent floor, decent location, nice location. You can have all these things, but if you don't have great dances, your festival is shit. Right? So what about those that are investing on the part of just more than just the dancing part? You know, and this and this is what I'm, this is what this is this is the point what I wanted to talk about, right? What is the what what is the Kizomba festival? First of all, a lot of a lot of festivals that say Kizomba festival, they don't even play Kizomba. It's straight up urban kids, but they call Kizomba festival. Yesterday there was like this interview from John Alea from Holland at <clears throat> I Love Kizomba Sensual Festival Istanbul edition and they were talking about this Kizomba umbrella, right? And they are totally uh, correct, you know, when you, when, you, when you speak about Kizomba, you know, this, I was explaining this to some people, to some Angolan people. I said, look, 
the kizomba that you know from Angola is not the kizomba that we know that that we use here. The word kizomba is not just attached to a dance nowadays. It's 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 an umbra it's a whole movement right now. Because kizomba is like the, the this 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 rooftop, right? And underneath kizomba you have different uh, directions, different styles now. You have the semba, you have the tarasho, you have the sur, you have nowadays even compa, you have the afro, and you have urban kids. Right? So whenever you call Kizomba Festival, it's not just the Kizomba as a dance or music anymore. It's like this umbrella. It's it's like this 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 fulcrum, this 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 octopus with different arms. This is a Kizomba, right? So whenever we say a Kizomba festival, basically you're not you're not pointing out that you are a Kizomba festival, like meaning like dancing wise or music wise. You're talking about the diff it's like salsa. Underneath salsa, you have different styles, right? Whenever you say salsa, but there they offer different types of different styles of salsa. Even bachata nowadays, sensual, romantica, uh, uh, um, Dominican, right? It's the same thing with Kizomba. So this is nowadays the definition of Kizomba Festival. Kizomba Festival, so you have, so underneath the umbrella, you have to choose the staff, right? You have to choose, okay, which part of the Kizomba Festival am I? Am I, am I a Semba Festival? Am I Urban Kiss Festival? Am I a Deserve Festival? Am I a Terrasho Festival? Or I don't count Afro because Afro and, uh, and Kompa are just, uh, yeah, they just part of it. So you basically have four different types of festivals nowadays. Last week was the festival of Guanita Russia Festival. You had also Semba Festival. You had the Kizomba Festival. I mean, like the Urban Kids Festival. So you have three different types of festivals nowadays, right? So what is the festival? So, 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 so to you, what, what is the what is the definition of a Kizomba festival? Whenever you're trying to define the, the whenever you're trying to define the definition. Um, you have to put like this category, right? You have to put like in a box, right? So, what are you? Are you? So, so the next time somebody asks you, oh, you, I'm organizing a festival, because I'm a festival. No, you have to be more specific. <laughs> I think you have to be more specific because you say if you say I'm a Kizomba festival, still doesn't define your festival. Oh, okay. So, you, so what kind of so, so so the next thing is okay. So what kind of music is there? Oh, it's, it's Semba. Oh, oh no, it's Urban. Oh, it's Tarasho. Oh no, it's just the sir, right? So what is the Kizomba festival? Is it like an umbrella? So underneath, I think people should be more specific about it, right? So and 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 so so, so coming to the organizational point, uh, to me, um, the, 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 I, I, this is one of the things that I used to uh, say on a briefing. During the 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 I love Kizomba Central Festival, you know, a festival um, consists of four different things, four different points, right? Four different features, or how you like to say, it. you have the artists, right? You have the location, right? You have the uh, the people. Like the the, 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 the the festival guests or I mean like the, the people that are paying and you have the organization. Right? These it's like it's like a pie of four. And these have to be, this is the the, the 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 how the how what what's like the summer festival, right? The the true definition like can we say like the four points that the four features that a festival should have. Like you have the artist, you have the location. You have the people and you, are, you have the organization. If you have these four things, then you can put them all together, you have the Kizomba Festival. And then you just have to decide for yourself the kind of music. So, so next is, what is, how do you, what is a Kizomba Festival? What is the next part of a Kizomba Festival? How do you divide it, right? How do you divide it? Nowadays, it's just three things. It's based on three things. Workshops, even some events, some festivals don't have workshops anymore. Right? Workshops, social, which is the, the most important, and the parties. Right? And the parties. 
So if you have, if you put in these three things, you have a festival, right? So 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 you have the location. You need the you need your stuff. You need your uh, uh, crew to organize it, the organization, right? And you need the artist to teach the people coming. This is basically the the, the definition of a Kisama festival. This is this is one thing I really disagree with everybody. Uh, you know, some people some people are here for the money, some people are here for the love of it. And you can clearly see the organizers that are here to invest because they want to have something. I, I, no, wait a minute, wait. I feel like a lot of organizers stop investing. I, I barely see anyone really investing. What do I mean by that? Investing in the community. What do I mean by that? You can see uh, one of the festivals that, were, that was really investing is Luxembourg. That's the only one that I could see. Okay, they're really like, they're always coming with something new. So they were always coming with something new, something different, and uh, uh, really trying to take it to the next level. And, and I'm not going to lie, uh, it, it's, it's sensual also. We, all, we, all, we, all, we were always like trying to come with something different, something new, and really uh, investing in, in the development. But we, you don't see festivals really investing in the future. Well, when I'm talking about investing in the future, I'm talking about investing. I mean, like, you have festivals investing in the new talent, right? Uh, you have festivals. Uh, uh, I think that was about it. Because nowadays you barely see something different, something new. I think All In uh, uh, was doing something. Uh, uh, Dolce did something cool also, different. Uh, these are the festivals that I can't, I've never been there, but I saw some, of, some, some great things. But I, w w w the reason why I wanted to do this podcast is to talk about the, the, the definition of, of a Kizomba festival, right? So... The only thing we know about the Kizama Festival is like we have socials, we have workshops, we have social, we have parties. What do we have in between? What do we have? What do we what else do we do? What if people are not having a good time? We lack of creativity. We lack of vision. We lack of that this is the reason why we not grow. We lack of vision. We don't see where it's going. We don't see, we just most of us are just thinking about now, right? It, 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 you barely see organizers really investing in to become bigger. The way they're investing to become bigger is, is, is just adding bachata, right? Which is not bad because bachata dancers will come and dance kizomba also. I was talking to this guy one time and he told me, Jadosun, uh, I'm at the Salsa Festival, but I don't see any, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm at the Salsa Festival, but I don't see any Kizomba roll-up, any Kizomba Festival roll-up. And I was thinking, what is he talking about? And then it got to, my, to a point that I understood, I was like, yeah, maybe it's right, because we are fishing in the same sea. I mean, like, we're not going to the, to, to the other sea, we're all fishing in the same sea, that's how are we going to grow? Because I tell you this. The average amount of time of a Kizomba person is two years. Two years. Two years. After two years, people, the first two years, people, the, the, the new ones are really enthusiastic. They are really all in. After two years, they're like, ah, I'm just going to go to some festivals. It's just a few ones. Right? So, I think we miss... Uh, we lack of investment. When I'm talking about investment, I'm talking about investment for the future. It could be money. It could be research and development, developing in, in, in key points. It could be new generation, the, 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 the new teachers. It could be... I was talking to my boy Fabricio, and he told me, bro, I, I, I'm really afraid of what's going to happen the next five years with the DJs. 
it was talking about the Irving Kiss Park, right? Because I don't see anyone really coming up. I mean, like, th those that were really, uh, one of the, the two DJs that I saw really coming up is DJ Now and David Rella. These are the two from the Urban Kids part that are really uh, stepping up as the new, like, yeah. Besides them, I don't know. Because you see most of the time the same lineup because the art, the organizers be like, hmm, I, I, I don't want to step away. I want the good guys. I want the, 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 the famous guys, right? So, and, and again, this is what I'm saying. Invest in the future. We, we barely do that. Because we don't want to step away that one thing that we want to hold on to. Those people we work with, which, is, which I understand. So once again, what is a Kizumba festival? To me, nowadays, it's more like, all right, um, let me just get a location. A uh, bunch of yeah, well, not known artists, few DJs, I'm gonna start selling a full pass. The same price as all the others. Right. So this is this is this is nowadays a Kazuma festival. You see you see and and, 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 and and this is also another thing. People expect a lot nowadays also. The people expect like all the events they're going has to be perfect. The balance has to be perfect. The air conditioning, the best DJs, the best teachers. This is the Kizumba. This is the definition of the of a Kizumba festival, right? But the problem that we have, people don't want to pay. People don't want to pay. I tell you this: quality is never is never cheap. Quality is always expensive. You want to have the best sound system, it's a lot of money. You want to have the best DJs, it's a lot of money. You want to have the best location, it's a lot of money. Do you know basically how much an average full pass should actually cost? Around 165 euros. That's, that's the, the minimum we should actually be asking. Tell me which festival is asking 165 euros. Nobody will buy it. Again, I'm talking about the definition of a Kizumba festival. Right? So we tend to go to shitty ass locations. Right? Because, yeah. We have too many ladies. So the half of the guys don't pay. Yeah. And we cannot afford or uh, the, 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 the best DJs all the time or the, the best lineup because we don't have the money for that um, sometimes it's hard to get the right the, 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 the right floor because it's expensive this is the Kizomba uh, 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 festival this is the Kizomba festival so and, and, um, and, and so ask yourself what is the number one reason you go to a, to a festival? It's to dance. Right? It's to dance. Which is the reason of everybody uh, is to dance. But what, happen, what happens if you're not feeling, if, you're not, if, you, if you don't feel like dancing? What then? Do you, are you going to force yourself? Because good mood doesn't appear just like that. What happens? What happens if you don't if you don't feel like dancing? And this is and this is my problem with a lot of those festivals. They um, they don't see the vision. They don't invest. When I'm talking about investing, it's also talking with people, talking with your people, talking, getting feedback from your people. Not just that, even talking to other organizers. Because we have to change the mentality a lot. And I'll tell you this, Kizumba festivals are actually the leaders of this community. Because that's where everything happens. Without the festivals, there is no bread and butter for the artists, the DJs and the teachers. Without the festivals, there is not really like a location where international people come to dance. Right? 
So the, 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 the festivals, I mean, the events are so important because people can connect with each other. People can learn new stuff. People can develop as a dancer, right? And you can see how, where it's all going. You can see also the new talents. Festivals are so important. But the problem that we have is we're not investing. We're not investing. We, we, we're just like, okay, I have a bunch of, I have a few teachers. I have a few DJs. I have a nice sound. I have some people that want to help me with the desk and the passes and whatsoever. And I'm going to start selling the food pass. And the next topic I want to touch on, uh, how do you... Um, how do you define the value of an event? Right? How do you define the value of an event? Because this is my problem with a lot of events. They are offering one room. They, are, they have five, five teachers, five DJs. The location is moi. And they are charging the same amount of money as I'm charging with five dancing areas. I don't know how many workshops. I don't know how many artists. But I don't blame them. But I blame the, 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 the mentality that we are in. If I charge 120 or 200 euros, for example, people will think I'm mad, I'm crazy. Jadilson, why are you charging so much money? Right? I'm like, excuse me, do you see what I'm offering? Right? Can you see what I... I mean, like... And then I, ca I came to a point that I'm not going to argue with people anymore about the price. Because when you go to the Apple store and Apple is selling you the MacBook or the new iPhone at a certain price, you don't argue with the seller because they know the value of their product. You want to buy, you buy it. You don't want to buy it, don't buy it. I was speaking to one of my promoters a few months ago for this edition and she was she was like you know this guy wants to come but he only wants to pay this I said to her look this guy doesn't really want to come because money is never the number one reason why people choose to come or not or not to come the number one reason why people choose to come or not to come is the people itself who is going to a festival or to, or to a party the second reason is the location. Location mean uh, uh, meaning uh, the city, uh, where it's located, how the location looks like. The third reason is money. Money is never the number one reason why people come or people don't come. Because if everybody gonna, is going to go there, there is one... Um, people will have this famous... Uh, 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 what was it called? Uh, uh, this famous feeling, the FOMO, the fear of missing out. <laughs> People will catch that. Like, they will feel like they're going to miss something. And they will find the money to come. So money is never the number one. So I told her, look, this guy doesn't want to come. Don't sell him the pass. Because I don't need this kind of energy. Right? So I tell you, what is the definition of a Kizomba festival? It's just the ones that um, have a few teachers and a few workshops and uh, the social and then later on a party and party with the dress code. That's basically the basic things of a festival. Or is a festival one that go, you go in and you'll be like, oh, wow. One that gives you the wow feeling. You know, if you go to, to the same festival every year and every time they surprise you with something, they give you that wow feeling every year. You know what that means? This organization or this festival is, is investing and developing and really working for itself, working for the festival. If you go to a festival, it's always, if you go to a certain festival and it's always the same, there will be a point that will be like, I don't know about next year. You know, the first time it can be a while. The second time you're like, okay, I've seen this. Third time you're like, ah, it's the same shit. Done that. Not going to go there next year. So if you still have people coming for several years already. I, I spoke to some people that have been to I Love Kizomba since. I'm not here to promote I Love Kizomba since festival, by the way. 
they've been uh, I know for a fact also other festivals they've been going for many years it's because they still get that wild well feeling every time they go there that means the festival is doing something for them something to get that wild well feeling this is what a festival to me looks like right whenever you go there the opportunity to have fun with your friends right it can be listen I'll tell you this to me personally, I like smaller events. Smaller events, you can connect with each other, right? The big ones, yeah, it is what it is. It happens. I'm an organizer, so I like to organize big, big things, right? Uh, uh, so, but to me, to enjoy myself, I like the smaller ones because, yeah, it's it's more family type. So what I try to do, I try to organize kind of small type of, of, of activities where people can connect with each other easy, easier, easily. And then you have the, the like the, the, the big happening, right? The, 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 big, the big rooms, the different rooms, the different things. And to me, a festival means a, a fest, like a party, an event with different activities. That's what, for me, a festival uh, looks like. Not just the one that you go there. If you don't feel like dancing, what else are you going to do? Right? If you don't feel like dancing. If you're like not in a good mood, because I can understand sometimes... Be like, ah, you know what? I don't feel like dancing. I have this feeling most a, a lot of times. I go to a festival, I just want to hang out with my boys and just talk or smoke shisha. Or just for me, that's also having a good time. But if I'm sitting there, I, go, uh, I might be I might be asked to that to, to to dance. I can never say no. <laughs> that's a topic we're gonna we're gonna touch on the next time. So what is the what is the definition of a Kizomo festival? I'll tell you this. For me, the definition of a Kizomo festival is whenever you have the ability to offer different, different kinds of music to start with, right? To me, a Kizomo festival is when you have entertainment, right? To me, a Kizomo festival is a place where people can learn, not just dancing-wise, but also information-wise. To me... Also, where you can see some, some it, it, it has to be a platform of opportunity for upcoming. That's a, that's a festival for me. Where different things, it, it has to be also a place for where you can see the level of dancing. Where you can measure yourself, right? For me, where you can see your heroes, the, the, per, the person you, you, you look up to. That's a festival for me. And not to forget the, the level of organization. The organization. The 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 level of organization. The great um, location, right? To me, the the different type of ideas, things people haven't seen before. Right? That's for me investing. That's for me a festival. That's for me something I'm like I get you that wow feeling. Something that you go there, you go there, you be like, oh wow, they did something. That's for me. And then the level of dancing, I mean like great dancers. Right? That's that's for most people the most important. Even for me. If I go somewhere I have good dancers, I'm like, yeah, I loved it. Whenever people ask me how was that, I said I dance a lot. If I say I dance a lot, that means I had a good time. If I didn't dance that much, like, yeah, whatever. What was the last event I was? I, I think the last one, I was in Albania. Yeah, that was my last festival. And uh, when I came back, I don't know, I was talking to somebody, and they asked me, so I was, I was Albania, I said, well, I danced a lot. <laughs> if, I, if I danced a lot, means that I had a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. Right? So let me just give a shout out to everybody who's listening. Who's watching. Right? So what is a Kizomo festival? A Kizomo festival is uh, a place where people can learn, like I said. People can develop. People can connect. People can have a great time. People can see new things. It's not just about dancing to me. Right? Hey, Mombazo. Letters. Wait.
posts on our Instagram live. Yeah? God damn it. But you're still live on YouTube, though. Yeah, man, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I'm okay. Oh, I don't know. We have just one hour on Instagram. Oh, there's no phone. I think the method that I go live. Yeah? It's, it's not, it's not. There's no life? The form of. The form of no work, no work life, no, no use, useful, no useful. It's like, it's not usual. Everyone that's going life like this. Is, the way how we go live on Instagram is not going to be useful. People goes like with the phone or uh, different kind of way, but we use like a very technical way to go live on Instagram. Let me find the current group. Tem que fazer ruta a fazer. Fazendo a rata ao assim, Não vamos entrar mais, né? Vamos entrar mais. Vamos entrar agora. Faz só off-slide. Vou fazer off-slide. Ready? Yeah, people. So apparently, um, 
Instagram cut us off. <laughs> oui. We just have like one hour. So basically, um, I'm gonna try to finish this, this the point that I was making. Like um, the definition of a Gizomo festival is now is is it's just uh, personally I think is really flat, and I think we should we should, we could do more than that. I mean, like I go to many events that I have a good time because I just I'm just there with friends. I'm just having a good time. I'm not speaking about anybody in particular. I just think we just need to uh, invest much more in our community to be able to grow in numbers to be able to grow uh, in, in the mentality uh, also and and i think that's something that we're really missing and it's something that we should do much more uh on it so um yeah uh, i think there were like many things i wanted to talk about but i didn't get to that point because i was speaking to uh, i was speaking about different things right so I just wanted to clear out like the 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 idea workshop socials and parties that's it but there is like no nothing else happening you know nothing more happening and and I think I'm one of the few ones that really trying to uh invest in this community to make sure like we uh get compared we uh, really strive to greatness really develop g become bigger and don't uh, and, and raise the ceiling, right? Like, right, if the limit is here, that we go beyond the limits, you know. And uh, th that's that's my vision. And this is also one of the reasons why we go to different countries because we want to invest in the community. We want to make sure, like, the 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 the, the, the numbers of people grow, the mentality uh, uh, keep developing, that we see in a, things in a different way. So we we are able to enjoy this. Uh, beautiful community much more and and we get to know uh, many more people different kind of people and yeah so i hope to uh uh um, to to come back on this uh uh the next time also with other people uh in here uh and to talk with me to speak with me on this on this matter because i feel like there is so much room uh, room to grow and so much uh uh, 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 so much more to do, and I think we just in the in the early phase of everything, and and I think we need we need one one, yeah, another ten years plus ten plus years to really uh, develop a different mindset. But it 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 is going so fast, and 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 it's just amazing. So um yeah thank you guys for watching me and 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 following this podcast it's gonna be live it's gonna be on youtube also so you can subscribe on um kiss on my life entertainment on youtube and keep following us and yeah so guys my name is Jesus santa rosa and i think i'm yeah i'm done for today